Hello, welcome to another session of This is Nampa, Community Engagement Interviews Junior. The junior means that this interview is geared toward kids and their families. I'm Laura Abbott, the Youth Services Manager here at the Nampa Public Library, and our honored guest today is Nampa Mayor Debbie Kling. We are very honored to have you today, and we're excited that you're here at the library and I have some what I think are some really fun questions that kids would really like to know the answers to for you today. What is your favorite thing about living in Nampa, Idaho? You know, I think my favorite thing about living in Nampa, Idaho are the people. I love the people of our community. We are a community with a foundation of faith and family and it's a place where neighbors still help neighbors and there's still a sense of community and it's a safe and healthy community and I love living here. I agree. <laughs> what motivated you to get into city government? You know, I think it was seeing the need. I really don't like politics and so that was a hard decision because I really don't like politics per se, mm -hmm. but I was very engaged in the community as president of the Nampa Chamber of Commerce and I saw the need for bringing the community together and so I looked forward to doing that, and that's really my focus. Oh, well, thank you. What is one thing that you wish that people knew about Nampa? Nampa is such a great place to live. It's a beautiful community with parks and pathways, and we have two different school districts, a number of charter schools and private schools. There are so many opportunities in this community, and a lot of people have never realized and don't see the potential and all that we have in this community, but it is a great place to live. As a longtime Nampa resident, I, yeah, 100% agree, agree with you, I do. Yeah. I love Nampa. What is your favorite thing about being mayor? Mm. You know, each year there is a walking challenge, and it's usually in October, and I don't know if it'll happen this year, but I get to go walk at various schools with students. I love spending time with the kids. The times that I got to come here to the Nampa Library and read to the preschool kids, I love uh -huh. that. So our kids are the future of our city and I love getting to spend time with our kids. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, this is a series of questions kind of about your favorites from your childhood. So first, as a child, what was your favorite toy? I played outside a lot and so the thing that I did was and I may go to the next one a little bit too okay. but I loved playing with my dog Missy she was a cocker oh. spaniel uh -huh. and so I spent a lot of time outdoors and so I did have a back in the day Sound of Music was released the movie and we had the dolls oh. and so the Sound of Music dolls were very special but I loved playing with my dog Missy and riding our pony chocolate. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. Very nice. We're in a library, so we have to know, did you have a favorite book or most loved book that either you read or that your family read to you? You know, I have to say, I cannot remember a favorite book. We did a lot of Bible stories and okay. Bible story books. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably where I learned a lot okay. back in the day about the Bible and did the Bible story books. Yes but my love for reading came as I was a little older. So, really? Yeah. Can I ask like what age or what grade or? Really it was more as an adult. Okay. Because I didn't have to read, I got to read. Okay. And one of the things with my children, I wanted to instill in them the love of learning. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of my grandchildren, they love to read books and they have more books than I could even talk about because mm -hmm. that's part of their life. And in my life, I spent a lot of time outside. Mm -hmm. Played outside, just was outside all the time. It was as I was older that I realized, oh my goodness, there's so much to glean from a book. Look, uh -huh. And that was when the love of reading, and I oh, wanted to dig in and read. That's nice. That freedom yeah. of choice of choosing your favorite book yes. is so important. When you played outside, did you have a favorite sport that you liked to play or a favorite outside game? Riding horses riding my pony chocolate and then we swam I had, was privileged we had our own swimming pool and I swam all the time hmm. all day wow. right so spent a lot of time swimming 
but a lot of time with our animals. We had cattle and the horses, and my favorite thing to do is to go out and just get on my pony chocolate and ride. Oh, how nice. Yeah, how nice. Great. Do you remember at what age you first got on a horse? Maybe mm. it was when you were a baby or toddler with your parents, but do you remember? I would guess like riding chocolate was more like eight and 10 okay. because I needed to go out by myself, right? Okay. And jump on the horse and catch yes. the horse and do it all by myself. And so wow. I did it more when I independently could go out and just ride. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank yeah. you. Did you have a hobby or did you collect anything as a child? Mainly the dolls. Okay. It was the Sound of Music dolls that we collected and those yes. were very, very special. My hobby was just being outside. And then I think, if you don't mind, I'll transition to that next question. Yeah. Do I have a hobby as right. an adult? Ex yes. And you know what's sad? My hobby used to be that I had a horse and I would ride, and that was where I got my stress relief and really enjoyed that. But as I became mayor, and actually before that, I gave my horse away to another yes. gal because I didn't have time to ride him. And so now I don't really have any hobbies because I work a lot. Uh huh. So yeah. yes, you do. Someday <laughs> I'll get a hobby uh -huh. back. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. If you were a superhero and could select your own superpower, <sighs> what would it be? This is a really hard one for me because I really don't have a superhero. You know, for me, insight and wisdom is mm -hmm. so important. And so having insight and wisdom, which is the ability to see, right, what's uh -huh. ahead, that would be the superpower. I can't say that I have a, a person superpower, right? Uh -huh. But if I had one, it would be the ability to see what's ahead because I'm very much a visionary and wanting to see how to prepare for the future. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely a planner. Yeah. Did you like school as a child? You know what, I loved school. We yeah. had the ability where I lived in the country there were times we actually took our pony and rode our pony in our cart to school. Really? Or I grew up in Kansas and there were tornado drills and so we would have to go outside and lay in the ditch for our tornado drill, which was just fun, but then our teacher would always take us across the street and get us an ice cream cone. Uh -huh. And so when I was in grade school, there were a lot of liberties that maybe the kids can't do today. And I don't remember the name of my teachers, uh -huh. uh, but I had an amazing, I changed schools in third grade to a little bit bigger school from the little country school, mm -hmm. but amazing teachers that loved us and I loved going to school. Oh. It was fun and I had a big family. So I had a lot of friends at home because there were six of us kids together. And so we had a big family, oh. but going to school, it was a wonderful experience and it was a lot of fun. Oh. In school, did you have a favorite subject and then did you have a least favorite subject? You know, not in my grade school years. You know, you just kind of did it all, mm -hmm. right? You just did what you needed to do. So I can't say that I had a favorite. As I was older, community events were really interesting to me. And I have to say, psychology and current events, which lead you to the political side, even though I didn't realize it mm -hmm. at the time, I had a tendency to kind of go that direction. Yes, okay. Did you grow up wanting to be mayor? And if you didn't, what did you want to be as a child when you grew up? You know, growing up, I had no idea about being a mayor and I did not grow up thinking I would be a mayor even as an adult. Mm -hmm. So growing up, I loved encouraging people. I just remember that even as a child, wanting to encourage my siblings and encourage others and be an encourager. So to be in a profession where I can encourage people is important to me. And then the field of psychology was always interesting, but needless to say, I didn't go that direction. Uh -huh. <laughs> what would you say to a child who thinks that they would like to run for mayor one day? How would you recommend that they prepare themselves? You know, I think to be a mayor, or for whatever profession someone decides to go into, I think a love of learning is so critical. And so reading, the love for reading is so important. A book exposes you to so much that you may not otherwise get exposed to. And no matter what the profession is, but especially as mayor, we need to have a really a very broad understanding of a lot of different life issues, right? And those things that go on around us. And so the love of reading and learning is probably the most important thing. Then the other thing I would say is every individual has a gift. And seek out and learn and identify what your giftings are. 
I didn't even learn about what my natural giftings were until I was an adult and had my own children. Mm -hmm. But as a child, I learned, now that I look back, I love to encourage people, that's a gifting. Mm -hmm. But some people have different giftings, but everybody has special giftings and just know that each person is important, that they're worthwhile, and they have a gift, something special that they can contribute to life and to the world around them. And so seek it out. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. What are you most proud of so far, considering all your achievements as mayor, and what goal do you still hope to accomplish in the future? So as I've come into office, really my goal was to lay a good foundation and every decision that we make, I try to look 20 and 30 years down the road mm -hmm. to see where that is going to take us because it's our children and for me, grandchildren, the next generations that will be leading our city, it's very important that we leave the city in a good place. So a couple of the issues, taxes, reducing a tax burden. So depending on who's listening, if it's kids, you're gonna go, what, <laughs> right? Does that make a difference? Well, it means that when you grow up, you're gonna have a good city to live in and you're gonna to wanna to stay here in Nampa. For those that are already here that are paying the bills, Mm -hmm. We've talked a lot about needing to get the taxes down. So we've brought the levy rate down, and that's a complex issue, but we've brought it down substantially over mm -hmm. the last three years, and I'm really pleased with that. We have some more to go, and we're working on that. So I'm pleased with that. Having the right people in the right seat is very important, whether it be a business or the city as a municipality. And so we have a phenomenal leadership team. Since I've been in, we have made some changes and we have some new people in new positions, but our leadership team that has the oversight of streets and water and parks and finance and IT and all the different departments, we have an amazing team of people leading just like here at the library, right? And so that is so critical and important to us as a city. And so I'm proud of that. I'm really pleased with the foundations that we've laid. And then as we look to the future, we still have more planning to do, but we've come a long ways and I feel really good about where we are today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting me interview you so all the kids and their families can get to know you better and realize just what a wonderful mayor we have and what a wonderful city we live in. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for having me. It's great to get to visit with you guys today. And just remember that you're part of an amazing city and please do your part at making a difference in this great community of Nampa that we live in.